Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will be covering Maya's Extrude and Preserve UVs bonus tool. For a quick video on how to install the bonus tools, follow the link in the video's description. If you would like to follow along, the Maya files are available through becoming a Patreon. Not only does this give you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Here we have a simple plane and on it is a picture of a building. Say we wanted to use this as a base for a background asset and we wanted to add some depth and complexity to this model. Maybe we want to extrude some details into the windows. So if we come in here, right now we need to do an offset extrude so we can extrude the glass down. But now if I hit control E and apply a standard extrude and just offset, you can see we sort of get these distorted UVs where the topology moves but the UVs stay in the same place and stretch. Luckily, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a great tool which fixes this problem for us. There are actually two tools if you come to the bonus tools, modeling. Don't get confused, we don't want to use extrude and scale UVs as it's the older method and requires a little more fixing. What we want to use is the extrude and preserve UVs tool. You can see as we make the extrusion and offset, it's perfectly and automatically correcting our UVs for us. And you can see we don't get any stretching at all. And this is all done on the fly, making it so we can work more quickly. Staying in the tool, notice that we can even move the transforms or scale and everything just works. Let's go ahead and press G on the keyboard to repeat the last tool. And this will apply another extrude and preserve operation. This warning will pop up, but don't worry. It's just saying we can only have one preserve UVs node. Just click yes to collapse the history. And we're just gonna to wanna to bring this extrude down a little like so. And then of course, like before, we can scale, move, however we want. I think you can get the point from this already, whether you're making a background asset from an image or making edits to an existing and already textured asset, this tool can make that task a lot easier as it's going to be preserving your UVs for you. Please be sure to check out my Patreon for bonus downloads and early access content. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.